Hi, I'm Tom and in this quick tip for Revit, I will show you how to rotate views on sheets. So you can go from this, where there's a vertical orientation of this plan, to this, where the same plan has horizontal orientation. So let's get started. I've got my plan view of my spa and I've got the plan view already placed on the sheet. And now I would like to have this plan orientated vertically. If I would select this view and try to rotate, I cannot do that. So how do we do that? First, I have to double click inside of the view. So I'm inside of the view. And now it's important that I've got show crop region turned on because basically we will be rotating the crop region. So now I will select the crop region. Again, that's important and choose the rotate tool, select the basic angle. And now if I want to have this door at the bottom, the intuitive way is to rotate the crop view this way. But actually because I'm rotating the crop view, it's rotating the plan uh, counter, counter the, the angle that I show. So I will go step back, step back. And if I want to have this door on the bottom, so I want to rotate the, the plan this way, I rotate the crop view this way. So I select this angle and then I select 90 degrees. And you can see that the view is rotated. And uh, I have to change, adjust the size of the crop view because that hasn't adjusted. So I will adjust it like this, like so, like so, like so. And now I can turn off the height, turn height crop region on. And I have to adjust this, uh, the name and naming of the view. And adjust the placement on the sheet. You can see that together with rotating the view, also the all of the annotations are rotated properly. So all of the text, all of the dimensions, all of the room names, etc., are rotated properly. So I don't have to do anything about them. Sometimes the text or the annotation after the rotation you have to adjust it because it uh, overlaps some walls or other other important things. So it's better to first uh, rotate the view and uh, just after that do the annotation and placing of the text, etc. The important thing to know is that with this technique, you are just rotating the view on the sheet. You are not rotating true north or you are not rotating the objects uh, objects in in the projects it's just that uh, on the level zero one uh, view it's rotated this way so this is the technique that i use to rotate the uh, uh, views on the sheet let's rotate this uh, view back as i had it and yeah, let's just adjust it like this and now I will show you an alternative alternative way how to rotate uh, how to rotate views on sheets, but this is used for different purpose. And I'm showing it to you so that you won't be confused by it. And the alternative way is if I'm on the on the sheet, not inside of the view, and I select the view on the sheet. Here you've got option rotation on sheet. This doesn't achieve what I have showed you. It only enables you to rotate 19 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise, and it's used for a different purpose. If I rotate 19 degrees clockwise, you can see that even the uh, name of the of the view and also the text inside of the view is rotated by 90 degrees. If I rotate it uh, 90 degrees counterclockwise. Again, even with the text and all of the annotations, it's rotated like this. 
So this won't be usable for the purpose that I showed you previously and you might ask uh, why I want to I would want to use this. I'm not sure when it when I would want to use it, but if I had my sheet rotated like uh, this, then I would I would use this uh, this rotation 90 degrees counterclockwise because then it's uh, according to the to the sheet. I don't know the reason why I would want to have sheet rotated like this. Someone might know, and if you have sheets like this, you would use this uh, rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. So this is all for this quick tip. If it helped you, hit that like button and take care.